Hey, what's up everyone? I'm back with another commentary playthrough and this time it's going to be MGS2 from the HD edition. Um, those of you that are interested in whether or not this is a 100% trophy, trophy run through, um, it's not. But what I will do is this. As you can see, I've got a fair few amount of trophies, which I... I mean, I played the game twice pretty much. I played it once where I completed it in February and then, um, and then for about a week in August where I just tried to do a bit of trophy hunting, but... I got bored so I left it. But what I'm going to do is I just um I'm going to start playing it on a new account and that way any trophies that I pick up along the way you'll actually be able to to see me get them. And uh yeah, so basically I'll add in like annotations and stuff so you can skip to where I get certain trophies. All right, so let's get going. Manhattan Tanker incident and Big Shell incident. So yeah, this is a uh, set a little while after Shadow Moses which we covered in MGS1. And uh, we're going to obviously start with the tanker incident, which involves Solid Snake. And yeah, I don't really need to talk too much about it, because obviously you, I'm going to leave all the cutscenes in, and I won't be talking over them either. So we'll be able to enjoy the, the experience together. But yeah, MGS2 was pretty much the, the first MGS that I really got into. I mean, I played it when I was like 13-ish, and that was the kind of age where I started to really understand how awesome Metal Gear Solid games were. So yeah, this will always be the, the first MGS that I really played and fell in love with. So hopefully you guys can enjoy this game as well because obviously as time goes on, it's gonna, it probably already is a classic, but because it's been recently re-released, it's not, it's not so, uh, it doesn't seem so old because it looks pretty good. But um, yeah, here's the intro video. Alright, so obviously I've played through this game a fair few amount of times, so I should be fairly good at it, but obviously 
there's going to be mistakes. I mean, it's, not, it's never going to be perfect. But um, basically, there is going to be a lot of cutscenes because this is MGS. And um, yeah, hopefully, I'll be able to do a, a better job than I did with Twin Snakes. And let's get straight into the cutscenes. The Hudson River, two years ago. We had classified intelligence that a new type of metal gear was scheduled for transport. The whole thing stank, but our noses had been out in the cold too long. Right on schedule. He'll know soon enough. This is Snake. Do you read me, Otacon? Loud and clear, Snake. Kept you waiting, huh? I'm at the sneak point. Everything going okay? Mm, stealth camo's busted. Landing impact. We must have overused it. Sorry, but you're gonna have to deal with it. You're not in the military anymore. Right. I didn't plan on relying on this gadget anyway. The private sector's not so bad, is it? Privacy guaranteed? I'm happy as long as no one gives me any more unwanted gifts. 
You mean that thing with Naomi? And I can't say I miss the chattering nanny. Mei Ling's not so bad. That reminds me, I have to get in touch with her again about that new Natick flashware. Diverting toys from the SSCEN again? But give her a message from me. Someone will find out, sooner or later. She's better off assuming it's sooner and quit while she's safe. Too true. Okay, Snake, let's get to work. You know how the technical specs of Metal Gear were sold on the black market after Shadow Moses? All Ocelot's doing. Exactly. And now every state, group, and dot-com has its own version of Metal Gear. Not exactly a classified weapon for today's nuclear powers. This new one seems to have been designed to wipe the floor with all the other models. The only consistent description is that it's an amphibious, anti-Metal Gear vehicle. That explains why this one is under Marine Corps jurisdiction. The mission objective is to make visual confirmation of the new Metal Gear being transported by that tanker and bring back photographic evidence. But I want you first to go up to the top level of the infrastructure, to the bridge. We need to find out where the tanker is headed. A little reconnaissance, huh? There's too much we don't know about this new prototype. Capabilities, deployment method, we don't even know how close it is to completion. If we know where the testing arena is, I can start to draw some reasonable conclusions. All right, I'll head to the bridge ASAP. Try to avoid confrontations. Our goal is to collect evidence on Metal Gear development and expose it to the world. It would be best if you could get out of there without alerting anyone. Don't worry, I know the drill. We're not terrorists. Very good. Don't you forget that you're part of Philanthropy now, an anti-Metal Gear organization and officially recognized by the UN. Recognized, but still fringe, Otacon. All right, let's look at your gear. Your weapon is a tranquilizer gun converted from a Beretta M92F. M9? It's a little hard to work with because you have to reload after each shot since the slide locks. Better than scavenging at the mission site. Good suppressor, too. The chemical stun will take effect in a few seconds and last for hours. You can take down an elephant with that thing. Check out the laser sighting, too. The effects of the anesthetic round will vary depending on what part of the body is hit. We're talking about a difference of tens of seconds between hitting limbs, chest, or head. As for the equipment... Hey, Snake? Cigarettes? What's wrong with you? It's kind of a lucky charm. You haven't read the Surgeon General's warning, have you? Here's the digital camera. Works almost the same way as your old one. They don't look armed. Hey, Earth to Snake. These are nice, upstanding Marines, not terrorists. Don't get caught. You're in stealth mode here. Sure. And if it comes to that, a little beauty sleep never hurt anyone. By the way, Otacon, are you sure of this intelligence? Absolutely. Hacked it out of the Pentagon's classified files myself. No traces? Oh, please. I'm too good for that. But this might be a trap. Remember, there's a price on our heads. You're just being paranoid. I hope so. Those men, you wouldn't think they were anything but civilians from here. With all the ships passing on the river and in the harbor, putting uniformed marines on the deck would be a bad idea. People can get a clear view of the water from Riverside, too. The water line is too high. According to the navigational plans, this ship should have discharged its cargo upriver. It's in there, no doubt about it. The military trains you to watch for threats from the stern on a boat. That's SOP for counter-terror ops, too. Security should be tighter. You worry too much. Where's the target? Satellite surveillance is a major international pastime these days. I'd say the cargo holds, safely below the deck. Do you see the entrance to the holds? Looks like there are a few entryways into the crew quarters. The chopper. Targeting the ship's controls. Otacon, how many men do you need to take? 
take over a tanker of this size. The ship is run by a computer, so I'd say about 18 people. AKS 740U. Russians? You sure? No marine barber touched that head of hair. I'm transmitting a photo. Let's get an ID on him ASAP. I'm on it. Looks like the tanker's theirs now. K-60 Kasatka. Kasatka? Kamov chopper, right? Killer whale. We need to get a fix on who they are. Judging by their transport, aren't they some kind of military commandos? Not necessarily. It could be the KA-62, the civil model. Look, Snake, all we need is the photographic evidence of Metal Gear. As long as we have those, we can put it online and blow the whole thing wide open. So no pyrotechnics, okay? All right. I'll do my best. This isn't like Shadow Moses. Reach me if anything happens. The frequency's 141.12. How can I check in and save my progress? I'll do it. There's a frequency set aside for it. 140.96. Sorry, but no Mei Ling this time. Call me on the codec when you want to save. Got it. I'll be waiting just past the Verrazano Bridge. You need to be off that ship by then. I'll be in touch. And that is exactly what I mean about the long cutscenes. Straight away we had like a, a 10 minute cutscene. Alright, so um, as you can see things look, are looking a lot better than they were for Twin Snakes. Obviously this game, especially with the, the HD upgrade, looks pretty nice now. But the controls are... I mean the controls are the same as MGS3, but um, kind of the interface is, is slightly, slightly different. Um, if you guys have watched me play MGS before, you'll know that um, my main tactic is to use the M9 to take people out. But as you can see, what you can do is stuff like making people freeze and give you their dog tags. So those of you after dog tag trophies, that's exactly how you do it. You have to creep up behind them and point your gun towards them and then um, just threaten to shoot them and then they should give you the dog tag so, and there's like there's a, there's loads of trophies related to this so you're going to have to play through the game multiple times on multiple difficulties to to get all of the the dog tags but um yeah it's it's not difficult it's just uh, it's a bit tedious so i'm not going to be bother i'm not going to be bothering with any dog tag related trophies other than that one i might get the odd one here and there but, but mostly it's just going to be ignoring that part of the game. So yeah, the last time I played was in um was on the PS Vita actually because um I've been trying to I've been trying to collect the trophies for this game and um I got it on the PS Vita and uh, I've been playing it on and off basically for the past month or so. So I'm fairly familiar with the game now. It took me a while to like refresh my memory, but hopefully I should be I should be uh, up to speed. And it will take me like a little while to to get used to it on the on the PS3 controller again. But all in all, it should be it should be a fairly smooth run through. I'm hoping. And obviously, in true MGS style, they give you a lot of help with the with the codec. So if it's your first time playing this game. Any time you're stuck, just um, either answer the codec or just call them up and. They will provide you with plenty of help. So, like, he's going to tell me now that I can use the store to get in. All right. So, obviously, the story here is that um, there's there's a new Metal Gear in town, and obviously, when there's a Metal Gear in town, there's only one person around that, that's going to stop it from being used to take over the world, and that is Mr. Solid Snake. So, we're going to have to get to the get to the holds in order to find this Metal Gear and kind of blow the whole story open 
And obviously, Otacon, which we met in MGS1, who helped Snake out, is also with us, so the two have been re- What? There's somebody there. I swear I shot that guy in the back of the head. Uh. Must have been like his neck or something, if it was a delayed reaction like that. I swear I shot him there. Okay. So yeah, the, the dynamic duo have te teamed up again for this. This was um, this was actually available as a demo. This uh, this tanker mission on I think it was PlayStation Magazine, and uh, when I first got my PlayStation, I brought a PlayStation Magazine, and um, this this demo was on there, and uh, it was my first like real experience of of MGS, and I thought the demo itself was pretty awesome anyway, and that was pretty much one of the the factors that kind of made me want to get this game. I mean, it's a pretty long demo when you when you think about it. This um, this tank commission, if you watch all the cutscenes and you you do things properly, it does take like a, you know a good hour to complete. So yeah, the first probably two or three episodes will be dedicated to this. So as you can see so far, it's not too difficult. Yeah, yeah, okay. So every time you go in here, you trigger off a little thing where uh, a guard comes into the room, and basically they're trying to force you to to learn how to use the box. For those of you that might not be familiar with the whole hiding in the box thing that's become synonymous with MGS. Yeah, so our friend here has come for a, a quick nap. And we're going to give him a helping hand with our tranquilizer rounds. Yeah, so he has, he has a little look around and then uh, he'll turn his back on you and fall asleep. But um, he falls asleep for the first time for a couple of seconds and then he, he comes back again. So it's, I, I would wait for the second time that he goes. Or if you're impatient, you can just do that. But obviously, if you want like dog tags and stuff, you can. You don't need to hold them up. He has nothing. Wow. Not only is he a lazy soldier, but he has nothing. All right. So as you can see, there's a lot of uh, explosive stuff around here and, and uh, infrared sensors as well. So. There's a few ways to, to get past this. One, either you, you do what I do, if you played the game before and you just crawl straight under. Or if you if it's the first time playing and you need to know where these actually are, you can just do that and it'll show you. But I mean obviously you don't really have much of a choice. I mean you have to crawl under, so that should become pretty obvious to you. Anything else? No. Alright. Let's go. Should be more cutscenes now.
Snake, did you find out where that ship is headed? Yeah, I'm looking at it. 35 degrees longitude, latitude around 58. More than 500 miles off the coast of the Bermudas, out in the middle of the Atlantic. So the prototype is ready for solo testing. It's basically combat worthy. That area is outside the Second Fleet's operational range, too. It must be a standalone Marine Corps project, which means this prototype Metal Gear must be designed for independent deployment without any naval assistance. Anyway, analysis can wait till later. Snake, you need to go down to the holds and locate the actual metal. <gasps> Okay, so outside is a, is a young female soldier and it looks like Snake wants to get to know this young lady a little bit better. Shalashashka has landed. I'm on my way to the tanker hold. Report your status. Control room, communications and engine room are under control. All entry and exit points to the tanker hold secured. Infrared sensors placed and operational. Good work. Are the explosives in place? Yes, they are all planted. Listen, once we have what we came for, the tanker will be scuttled. And the vehicle's pilot? He's the only one who underwent the VR training. No one else can do it. Are you sure you can trust him? Your part in the mission is complete. You are to leave at once. No, it's not over yet. I can see the moon, even in this storm, pale as death. I have a bad feeling about this mission. You swore this to me, that you would leave the unit once the mission was complete. Do not worry, this is a country of liberty. No, this is where I belong, with the unit. I have nowhere else to go. Father, I want to stay and fight. There is no choice to make here, Olga. Need I remind you that you are carrying my grandchild? You will be on the helicopter out of here now! Damn it. Freeze! Hands over your head, now! Toss your gun overboard, slowly. A woman. Show your face. You men, you're all the same. Who are you? We are nomads. Wanderers. I said to move. Americans. So you shoot women too? I'm a nomad too. What else do you have there? Take the knife and toss it. Not there. Toss it overboard. Hold that position. Now, turn around. You know what you're doing. <laughs> Not too shabby, is it? New York, I mean. And that brings our tour to its conclusion! Scout knife with a surprise. You a Spetsnaz? I think you deserve a little credit. No one's ever dodged that shot of mine. But no one gets lucky twice, either. Okay, welcome everyone to the first boss battle of MGS2. And this is Olga, a Russian female soldier. And all she does is just fire repeatedly at you with the, with the USP. I've been with the unit since I was born. I grew up on the battlefield. Conflict and victory were my parents. The unit is my 
life, my family. Yeah, she talks a lot. All the bad and all the good. I have no one. Nothing except the human. Right. Nothing else matters to me. Just concentrate on the fight, you stupid bitch. Alright, so um, I shot that light because she tends to... Why can't I... S I need to stop playing this. Whoever you are, you're not stopping us. I need to stop playing this when the when it's when it's bright because I can't see anything from my TV. I can't see where the end of the laser is. Yeah, yeah she is she is not difficult. The reason I shot the light is because uh, later on in the in the boss battle she will shoot that light and it will block your view. So you can just get rid of it nice and early. But yeah, um, four four headshots is enough to to take Olga Olga down. And you just have to be patient because she's not gonna you are not gonna get a game over here. Unless you're like playing on European Extreme or something like that. Yeah, I mean I've still got five rations, so she is she is no danger at all. She sounded like she got hurt there. Hmm. So yeah, I mean um, you can just if you want to play it safe, you can just hide and uh, Oh I shot her. That's lucky. You can just hide and then uh, use L2 and R2 to just like peek around the corner and just shoot her in the face. So this should be it. Okay. Come on. There you go. The ship appears to be under their control. The men have Russian gear, but I haven't been able to find out anything else about their origin. I know who they are. You do? We've ID'd the old man. Who is he? Sergei Gerlukovich. Gerlukovich? One of Ocelot's allies? Yeah, the Gru Colonel. He's the one Ocelot was supposed to meet up with after Shadow Moses. They're after Metal Gear. Everything's changed. This is not going to be as simple as we thought. You could say that. I saw a surveillance remote just now. It looked like the cipher. A Marine cipher T? No, Army. First the Marines, then the Russians, now the Army? You're right. This isn't gonna be simple. Snake, there's something I have to tell you. What? We didn't dig up this info about the new Metal Gear on our own. Not like usual. How did you find out then? It was a tip. An anonymous tip. Anonymous? You've never trusted those. Why would you start now? I, uh... I have a younger sister. A stepsister. We have different parents. I only knew her for two years. You've never mentioned her before. So? The sender of the tip was E.E. E.E.? -E? E. Her name is Emma, but I always call her E.E. E. Emma? Emmerich? Yeah. It just caught my eye, you know? I figured it was a coincidence, but I couldn't get it out of my mind. There's really no one out there who knows about her. When was the last time you saw her? Over ten years ago. You think it's a trap to lure us out here? I don't know. After I got the tip, I did break into the Pentagon system to get confirmation. Okay. Watch your back, Snake. Maybe I screwed up. I've got a light-equipped USP. I can take them on now. There's no ammo, but it takes a 9mm, just like the Marine's M9. I'll find those somewhere around here. Don't raise too much racket with that thing. I hear you. Alright, so we found out that uh, Otacon didn't exactly get the information on his own. And that there might be a bit of a trap involved. So, that doesn't sound too good. And if you're a dog tag person, you can, uh, you can get dog tags off some of the bosses if they're still on screen. 
so don't forget that, it's an easy one to miss. And I think I will save now, and then um, we will continue from here in the next part. You want to save, Snake? <laughs>